Let's do some sightseeing around the Cotswolds. Because there shouldn't be much more climbing left. You know, I said I didn't want any of those nasty surprises. Found one. So good morning, good morning, good morning. I am in Nailsworth this morning. I'm in the Cotswolds. I've got about 96k. It's looking pretty good, the weather. It's 10 degrees, I think it gets up to, so not too cold. The sun is out, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I don't know who that miserable sub was last week, but I'm back. Smile's back on the face. I'm somewhere new. Let's go and enjoy the Cotswolds. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within What a great start that hill was, but it's put me in the box So if you're wondering what I'm doing in the Cotswolds, I'm here to do three official climbs. I'm on one now. This is Napier Lane. The W is the first one at Nailsworth. And I've got Birdlip, which I think I've driven down before and looks mental. Other than that, I'm just bimbling around through the villages looking for some scenery. I think I better put the camera away because <laughs> it's not getting any easier. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard Oh, it's not even the top yet. But that was a bit of beauty in the beast. Beauty down the bottom. Beast at the top. Oh, I'm only supposed to be doing 1800 metres of climbing today. I think most of it's been on this climb. Oh, that was steep. Steep and twisty. Lovely climb now. And up hill lane. Hill. It's a bit of a main road. There's a lot of cars. I just picked a quiet moment. Now I've said that, I hope there's none for the rest of the climb, but it's 2.6k long and steep. I 
so far. I've done 35k and 900 meters of climbing, so it's been a lumpy start. But that's all the business taken care of. That's the three official climbs. Now, let's do some sightseeing around the Cotswolds because there shouldn't be much more climbing left. He says. <laughs> Look at this road. <laughs> this road's like this. It just makes you want to get out and explore the country one pedal stroke at a time. Ah. Oh. I came from over there. I've come up over that hill and down through that village. Now I don't know where we're going. I know we're going over to Bybury. Pretty little village with a bridge and, some, and a river. But other than that, just every corner I go right now will be a surprise. And if you're all like that, <laughs> I'm in for a hell of a day. I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. True Darren style. It would be the same exploring without a bit of off-road, would it? I'm supposed to be going down there, the Monarch's Way. <laughs> oh joy! And just like that, we are back on the road. I was channeling my inner Belgium classics then, smashing it out in the gutters. It's a lot of fun down that lane. Uh, no idea where we are though, but it's a good job. My Trek de Marne is an all road bike. <laughs> oh, look at these views. But we do need a nice cafe now. Just a nice cafe to pop up on the side of the road. <laughs> just like a miracle. Coffee. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free I am made to be free Colm Valley, or the Colm River Valley, I think it was on Kamut. I mean, it was a lovely road, lovely winding along, following the river all the way to Bybury. It had five highlights on Kamut, so I knew it was going to be a special road, but that was really, really nice road to cycle on. But then Bybury, I was just expecting a village, a pretty little village, not a tourist hotspot. There were coach loads of people there, it's just manic. I don't even know what's there. There's a trout farm, a couple of shops, a cafe and an ice cream van. <laughs> the bridge, the river, and that terrace of houses. Bonkers. 
Anyway, we're heading on way back to Nailsworth now. I don't know how. I just know we've got about 30k to go. I'm hoping there's no surprises. No steep climb surprises. <laughs> that coffee has hit the spot. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. You know, I said I didn't want any of those nasty surprises. I found one. Oh, still got about 16k to go. Oh man, I am cooked already. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles. work. I hadn't seen a sign for Nailsworth until just at the top of the hill. Just coming down in. You go to these places, you don't know where you are, you don't know what the place names are that are local. You're just looking for that road sign. Only I've seen a Stroud sign about an hour and a half ago that said seven miles. And then an hour after that I saw another one that said Stroud seven miles. <laughs> I really, really really did my morale in. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> another good ride. Oh, the Cotswolds, it's not flat. It's up and down, up and down. That was so hard. My leg's done. Oh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> smiles back. That's the main thing. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you next week. It's apparently getting warmer. So fingers crossed. Trying to get those shorts out. To get you through your struggles, I will all.